Today we're going to show you how to make a headband. So what you want to do is take your measuring tape <clears throat> and you want to measure your head from ear to ear. So all you're going to do is measure your head across the top of your head from ear to ear. Just like that. It'll sit a little up front and go behind your head, but if you get the measurement across the top, you're good. So from ear, across the top, to your ear. This one says 12. Okay, now we're going to draw out our pattern for the headband. What you need is a ruler, a pencil, pen, sharpie marker, and a piece of paper. Now, what we're going to do our my headband. My headband is going to be 12 inches long and I want it to be 2 inches wide. So in order to get a headband that will fit me, first things first, you need to draw out a straight line on your paper so that you can work off of. So a straight line. And somewhere on that straight line just make a mark. Now, we're gonna, this is going to be the middle of the headband and we're going to work our way out. I want it to be two inches wide. So this is going to be your middle, your, your, the middle of your headband. So I want an inch on each side. So this would be one inch, and this would be two inches. So there's my two inch wide headband right there. From this middle mark, I'm going to mark straight up six inches. Now, my headband is going to be 12 inches long, but I want my pattern to be 6 inches long because when you cut the fabric out, it's going to be folded in half and then it's going to open into one long piece. So, it looks weird, but go with it. So, this is our widest part that's going to be at the top of your head and it gets narrower towards the back of your ears. So, I'm going to draw another line. Line up your ruler. And off of this line, I'm going to mark six inches. Right there. So now I'm going to, con oh, and I want to have an inch here on this side. So I'm lining up my line at a half inch, and then from this point to the middle point is a half inch, from the middle point to the one inch mark is a half inch. So this right here, that's one inch. So now I'm going to line up my marks and draw it out. And this is this weird little rectangular shape is going to be your pattern for your headband. Now I'm going to put a mark on here like this. I'm going to put fold. So when you lay out your fabric and you lay out your pattern on your fabric, that's going to go on a fold. I also need to mark it so I don't forget what this is. Head band pattern. And how many pieces do you need to cut? You need to cut two pieces. So I'm going to put cut two. And that's enough notes. And this is enough information on my pattern to know that this is for a headband. You need to place this on the fold of your fabric and then you need to cut out two pieces. Once you have your pattern drawn out, you need to add in your seam allowances because the lines that you've drawn, the lines that you've drawn here are your seam lines. So if you cut this pattern out right now just as it is, you're going to be sewing on the inside of those lines and your so your headband is going to be smaller than what you intended it to be. So we're going to add a quarter inch seam allowance. Now I have this nifty ruler here that has all these cool increments and everything, but if you don't, you can just go ahead and use a normal ruler which I have around here somewhere. You can just use a no normal ruler and mark out your quarter inch increments. But I like this one. This is one of my favorites. So 
So I'm going to mark out quarter inch on each side. I'm going to mark it in pencil. And the only side you do not put a seam allowance on for this particular pattern is the fold. So you don't put a seam allowance here because you're not cutting this part. This part will not be cut. It's going to be on the fold of the fabric. So you'll be cutting here, across the top, and here down this side in order to get your pattern pieces. So I'm going to cut out my pencil marks here. And then when we sew, the, the black sharpie marks are the lines that we're going to sew. So this is our seam allowance at a quarter inch, and I'm going to cut the pattern out. Okay, I found my fabric. So this is the fabric that I've decided to use. It's a bright blue, outdoorsy canvas kind of fabric. It's not a very fine fabric, but it has a little stiffness to it, which I like. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay out my pattern. Now because I need to fold it in half to lay my pattern on, this is what you would think about doing first. You just fold it in half, right? But if you do that, you're going to have a whole piece of fabric with two holes right in the middle of it where you cut out your fabric at. So instead of folding it in half like this, I'm going to adjust my fabric so that I'm folding up just enough to be able to place my pattern. So see it's a little short so I got to pull it up a little more. So I'm placing my fold, the fold of the pattern, onto the fold of the fabric. Just like that. And I have just enough that if I cut out two patterns right here, two pieces of fabric, I still have a whole bunch of fabric left over that I can do something else with that tickles my fancy. But if I had folded this in half, and cut out two pieces right here in the middle, then all I have is scraps. I don't have that much left over to do anything with. So, once again, I'm going to fold it here towards the edge, just enough that I can lay my fabric out with plenty left over so that I can go around. Just like that. See, I have about a half inch here, here at the top. And I'm laying my pattern here on the fold. I'm not cutting here, I'm cutting here, here, and here. So I'm going to get my pattern pieces laid out and cut out. Okay, we're about halfway done. We've measured our head, we've made our pattern, we cut out our fabric pieces, and now we need to get the elastic, measure it out, and start sewing everything together. So there are two kinds of elastic. There's this kind, which you can get at, I mean, I get it at Joann's in rolls like this. Um, this is, uh, how wide is this? 3 eighths of a yard, so it's just under half inch, which is decent. So you can use this, or also sometimes you'll see stuff called fold over elastic. Fold over elastic is the stuff that's usually used in underwear, in girls' panties. And what it is, it's a very soft and fine elastic. And if you look real close, there's a little, I don't know if you can see it here on the camera, there's a little ditch in the middle of it and that's where you would fold it over at so like on sometimes on your panties you can see the little thin elastic around the legs and it's folded over just like that and that's how it's sewn it's sewn over an edge of fabric like this but fold over elastic is is soft and it's not as stiff as this fabric is 
So, I got some fold over elastic and what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure out 10 inches. So where's my ruler? I'm going to use this one. I don't like that one. I'm going to use this one. Okay, so 10 inches. And don't stretch it. When you're measuring out and you're getting ready to cut, don't stretch the fabric. Just lay it out just like it is, just like that, and measure out 10 inches. So I might, okay, so 10 inches is right there. Okay, so there you go. Now you have all your pieces and now we're going to put them together. So, because I have two pieces of fabric here that I have Sharpie lines on, I'm going to put that on the inside because I don't want anybody to see that part. So, you're going to have your right sides together. So, the Sharpie lines, the, the, the marks are going to be on the outside and your elastic is going to go on the inside because what you're going to do, you're going to end up flipping this inside out. So we're going to line up our elastic here, making sure that our Sharpie lines are facing out, and we're going to pin it. So for those of you guys who have never used pins before, this is how you use it. You push it in through the fabric, and you scoop, scoop and push, straight down, scoop and push. It takes some, it takes some practice. So don't worry. And also, we're going to put a safety, because this is a very soft fabric, it's kind of smishy. So we're going to add a safety pin to the end of the elastic. This is going to seem weird now, but you'll understand why we're doing this in a little bit. So we're going to, so it'll look just like this on the inside. So we're going to line this up. We're going to poke it out just a little bit. Line this up. Now, you want to make sure that when you do this, you want to make sure that your elastic is in the middle because you're going to be sewing down these edges and you do not want to get the elastic on these long edges. You only want to sew the elastic here at the end. So we're going to pin that together real quick like that. We're going to line up our edges. We're going to make sure the elastic is in the middle. I mean, I. You can't see it now, but you'll be able to feel it. You will be able to feel the elastic in the middle. Line up that edge. And this one over here. So you're going to sew here and the two long edges. This short edge here is not going to be sewn yet. Because that's how you're going to flip everything inside out. Get that pinned up. Get that pinned. And down here. Okay. So like I said, when you get to your sewing machine, you show you sew this end with the elastic poking out, and you sew the two long seams. Okay? And you're going to stop about half inch, about half inch in. So I'm just guessing. So that's about half inch to me. So you stop there. Okay? So when I see you next, we're going to be at the sewing machine. So here we are with our headband. And I'm going to sew the short edge and then our two long edges. So here we go. I'm lining up the fabric with the edge of my presser foot because we have a quarter inch seam allowance and a quarter inch is needle position in the middle and the edge of our standard presser foot. So um, I'm also going to lengthen my stitch there a little bit. So here we go. So I'm going to sew just down the edge with the, with the and you know what? 
I'm going to put my needle in the fabric and I'm going to rotate it because I'm going to make it an extra secure stitch. So I'm going to go back over it one more time. So I've sewn the edge with the elastic and now I'm going to do my long edges. And remember, I can feel the elastic in the middle of the fabric. So I'm going to make sure that I do not sew over the edge of the fabric. So I'm going to lift my presser foot, line up the edge of the fabric with the edge of the foot, and do some sewing. I'm just going to follow, I'm going to follow the edge of the fabric. And when I get to a pin, I'm going to make sure that I remove the pin. If you sew over the pins, you have a chance of breaking your needle and you don't want to do that. And when I get to my spot where it's about half inch from the bottom, I have a reverse button here. All sewing machines have a reverse button and it looks like that backwards arrow, an arrow like going backwards. So you just push it, a couple of stitches, and that's all you need. So my sewing machine cuts automatically, but you don't, your, if yours doesn't, that's okay, no big deal. So here we go, we're going to start again at the other end. The elastic's in the middle, I can feel it, we're not going to sew over it. We're going to take our time and sew slowly so that way we can control the fabric and how fast the needle goes so nothing gets screwed up. Here we go. When you get close to the pin, pull it out, keep going. So there you go. Uh, it's probably dark here. Okay. Now that we have all of our stuff sewn together, we have the side with the elastic sewn, our two long edges sewn, and we have an open seam here. This is where we're going to flip everything out. Now, when you feel on the inside, you can feel your elastic and you can feel that safety pin. And that safety pin is what's going to help you push that elastic through. So you want to take that safety pin and you want to push it out the hole. See? There's that safety pin. Because that elastic is so soft that it needs something stiff to be able to push it through the hole. So see that? And so now you're going to flip this through. So this is going to take some finagling. You know what? Before we do all that, we're going to trim our edges so they're not so so hard to handle. So we're going to trim the corners like that. We're not going through the stitching. I don't know how well you can see this. See, we're not going through the stitching. You're not going through the corners. You're just going down the edges there. You're going to trim up this side too because it's a lot of fabric there. Just a trim. Just trim the whole thing. There we go. All right, so we're gonna trim that up. That makes it a little easier to handle when you flip it all out. So find that safety pin again. Push it through. Now this is what's going to take a little bit of finagling here because you have to flip this completely inside out. And it seems kind of weird, but you need to work it, work it, work it. All right, so this is a little stiffer fabric, which is what I wanted. So as the elastic gets pulled down in the middle, I'm like, I'm not sure how well you guys are seeing this. I want to make sure you can see it. 
the elastic gets pulled down in the middle and it wants to suck in everything else with it and that's good so you want to pull everything that's coming up around it down until you can flip it so you're just going to have to work it see how it's getting you see how it's being pulled in and I'm taking that fabric and you just want to keep doing that until it like sucks itself inside out that's exactly what we're doing we want everything to be pulled inside out and it may take a little time to work it but that's how we want it that's how that's how you flip everything inside out so here we go let's continue working it here See? Okay, so there you go. Now that you've got everything flipped, you're going to poke out the edges and iron, iron, iron. So let's get those out of the way. And this is where a chopstick comes in handy. So you're going to poke that in there. And working here at the sides, you're going to poke, 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 poke. Now work those edges out. So you're taking the chopstick and you're pushing against the seam to be able to get everything nice and pretty. And then do the other side. So this is what it looks like for the moment. You got your elastic on one side. We're going to take that bobby pin out, or that safety pin, I should say. That's going to be put aside. Put aside, and you're going to iron, iron, iron. That's how you get things to look nice. When you sew, if you don't iron, it looks homemade. We don't want stuff that looks homemade. We want it to look nice. So we're going to work it with our fingers. We're going to roll it, roll those seams so that they're like this. See? Nice and flat. And then we're going to iron it. So I'm going to spray it with some water. Now I'm going to iron. Okay, so we're almost done. So there we go, we've got our elastic, we have our headband. Almost done. Okay, last few minutes of battery on my camera, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna tuck in the inside of that open side that has not been sewn. We're gonna tuck it in and make it look nice and neat and polished. We want it to look as much as possible as the other side if we can. If it's not perfect, it's okay. And then we're going to take the elastic and we're going to tuck it in as well. And you're going to tuck it in to where it fits your head. Okay, so we have the elastic tucked in. We're going to figure out if this fits our person or not. I'm going to hold that in just to make sure. Because if it's too big and it doesn't fit your head, then you can pull the, push the elastic in a little more. And if not, if you want it looser, you can let it out some. I'm going to push this in a little bit more for us. Just like that. Okay? And then all you have to do is sew that side right there. Sew right there. 
and around the edges and you'll be all done. So this is it. So after I got sewed, every, everything sewed, once the elastic was situated, I sewed the edges all the way around. So that way everything was sealed up on the inside and sewn extra lines for security. So that way nothing will fall apart. I just pulled it out of my hair. That's why my fabric, my elastic's a little wonky. But there you go. It's not perfect, but this will be behind your ears so nobody will see it anyways. And there you go. And there we go. There's your headband. Or, well, there's my headband. I hope you guys were able to follow along. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll answer it to the best of my ability. Um, remember to like, share, comment, click the subscribe button if you can. You get a little bell beside your subscribe button and it allows you to get notifications when I upload more videos. You guys need to tell me what you want to see. I'm working on my list. There will be more videos coming out and I hope you guys have an awesome summer. And remember, leave me comments. I'll write back. Bye!